let me show you my shirt real quick. So it says the finals, warriors, champions, and the back, if I can turn around awkwardly enough. Yeah, check that out. Oh yeah. Anyways, so this is like a size medium in men's maybe. Actually, I don't know if it's both men and women, but I still really like it even though I feel like I look kind of bulky right now, but we're just going to go with it anyways because this is a comfy shirt. I like when they're kind of oversized anyways. So yeah, and if you're wondering, I got this from Costco. Not sure if they still have it yet. So today I have another Ipsy unboxing or unbagging and this is my third one. So I'm really excited to see what I got. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so here is the little card that it came with. Ooh, this one's kind of like wrinkled and crinkly this time. Must have had a quite a journey on its way to my house. So for June, this is called Swim Into Beauty. Nice, getting into the summer theme. I like it. it says, salt in the air, sand in our hair. Mm. Although I'm not really sure I would want that. Sand in my hair, yeah. No. As for the bag, this is what it looks like. It's like all black. And on one side, it says Ipsy all over it. And this like embossed type of lettering and then it has this bright pop of neon coralish pinkish color for the zipper which I really like that. I've always really liked the black and just like a pop of bright color kind of look. And the material of this bag is very different from the other ones that I received. It feels kind of like a wetsuit material which would make sense since the theme this month is like swimming. So yeah, I actually really like this bag. I think it's better than last month. I didn't really care for last month that much. Okay, so opening up, what do we have first? Ooh, okay. It's always nice when I see familiar brands. This is from Smashbox, and it's their Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Now, I know this is a pretty popular product, and it's actually something that has been on my wish list at Sephora for quite some time now, although I think I wanted to get the light version. But until then, this will be really nice to have, especially since the weather is getting a lot warmer. It's really nice to have a primer underneath your makeup so that it doesn't just, like, what off your face that's never fun and I think this one will be a great base to help smooth the appearance of my skin and just to help make my makeup last all day by the way I just mentioned this in my previous video if you watched that about me talking about me and my new hair color but yeah excuse my nails really chipped they were warriors theme but I haven't changed them yet so let's just kind of try to ignore them Next is this Cara Therapy Daily Smoothing Cream. So is this like a hand lotion? Oh, okay, no, this is actually for your hair. So it says that this will restore and revive dull and frizzy hair into healthy, smooth, and shiny locks. Drastically reduces blow dry time. Huh, interesting. My hair typically takes a really long time to blow dry, so I pretty much never blow dry my hair unless I wash it that day and have to be somewhere. But for the most part, I just let it air dry. And so, yeah, I think that this should be really exciting to try out. Usually blow drying, I would say, is not the best for your hair because you're using heat. And of course, you want to minimize the amount of heat you use on your hair as much as possible. But according to this product, I suppose this is actually supposed to make blow drying good for your hair in accordance with using this product. So I guess. I'm going to be really excited to see how this works. Moving on, this is by Dr. Brandt. It's their Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. Hmm, interesting name. And this is a blackhead extractor mask. Oh, awesome. As gross as it is to talk about blackheads, it has something that I have definitely struggled with for a very long time. In junior high, I had really pretty bad acne, but thankfully that has cleared up. But something that has always remained is those stubborn blackheads. 
and I just have really large pores especially around this area and so removing them it's just really challenging and so I'm really really looking forward to using this see if it helps at all plus I just have really oily skin so that doesn't help next thing is from J Cat Beauty never heard of this brand but this is their Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this right now. Ooh, I should probably take off this orange lip color I have on right now. Ooh, wow. This is extremely highly pigmented. Oh my goodness. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I just put like the tiniest little bit on my lower lip and then rub my lips together and it transferred to my upper lip. So I would say when using this, you uh, just be really light with the application. You really need like the tiniest amount of product. Don't put too much. So it looks like this has a semi matte finish. It feels pretty smooth. Yeah, I actually really like this color. I think it actually looks really good with my new hair. I think this is going to be perfect for summer too if this does have lasting power because during the summertime I really don't like to have to keep reapplying my lip colors. I just want them to stay on all day. So hopefully this does that. And we've made it to the last item. Ooh, is this open? Do you see this? Oh, okay, no. I think this is actually just the cap, right? Okay, yes, it is. See? Interesting packaging trickery, that is. So, this is the Trestique Mini Shadow Crayon in Venetian Gold. Let's get a swatch on this guy. So, this has a metallic look to it. It glides on pretty smooth. Looks like you can get some different intensity with this product depending on how much pressure you apply and you know i think you could probably even use this as like a highlight maybe that would be interesting to try all right so that was my june ipsy bag i think i'm most excited about the smashbox primer because that's something that i've been wanting to purchase anyways also i am really liking the lip color i think it looks pretty nice what do you think hmm Hmm. Ooh, and the blackhead mask too. Yeah, really excited to try that. And oh, you know what? Also the blow drying cream because I've never tried anything like this. So wow guys, I think this may be my best bag so far. So as always, thanks so much for watching guys and let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy bags this month and I will see you in the next video. Bye!